guys, welcome to my channel, Jessica here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a dramatic furniture flip with you guys, and I'm gonna be redoing this desk. So this desk had been at my local thrift store for a few months. They had it marked for sale for $8, and when it was first brought out on the floor, it had a matching dresser with it. The dresser has since sold, but this desk remained. I kept going back and looking at it over the past few months. I was kind of drawn to it, partly because of the price, but I was missing inspiration on what to do with it. But I finally decided to buy this poor little unwanted desk and give it a new life. As you can see, this desk has seen better days. It is in rough shape and has quite a bit of cosmetic damage, but it's a nice sturdy little desk made of hardwood and has really good bones. So I am not loving all of the curves and the shapes that are on this thing and I would really like to just get some clean lines and just so it's not so busy. So I started off with removing some peeling veneer that was on the underside of the desktop and then I pulled out all of the drawers. I also found some random stuff in the drawers and behind the drawers. And I think this may be a deteriorated dead mouse on the bottom of this drawer. I will say this was one of the most dirty piece of furniture I have ever flipped before. It had quite a thick layer of dust and dirt on the bottom of these drawers and this desk smelled really bad. So to start things off, we flipped the desk over and we drawed out some cleaner lines on this desk front and my hubby helped me out on this and we used a jigsaw to cut off this string shape. Then using a hammer, I knocked off the front of the bottom of the desk. Some of the veneer that was along the sides of the desk had looked like it had maybe like a little water damage. It was kind of peeled up and just misshaped. So we went ahead and just cut those off to give this desk some nice clean lines. Then we took the desk outside and I grabbed my hand orbital sander and started sanding down some of the edges to just smooth everything out. And I started sanding off the top of the finish on the desktop. I was pleasantly surprised to find a beautiful veneer top underneath all of that nasty old finish. I'm not sure what type of wood the veneer is made of, but it seemed like a really nice hardwood and had a really nice burly look to it. I really like it. So then we took the desk back inside and I started cleaning this thing up. Of course, the little boss had to come and check up on my work. One of the drawer fronts was peeling away, so I used some wood glue and let it soak down in that crack, and then I stacked some heavy books on it and let that dry overnight. So on one of the undersides of the desktop, a little veneer was coming off just a little bit. So I grabbed some wood glue and lathered some up on the end of my screwdriver and stuck it in there. And then I grabbed a clamp and let that dry overnight. So 
So three of the drawers had quite a bit of damage on the drawer front, so we decided not to use them and do something a little different here. So we pulled out the runs of the drawers. Then using some paneling that we actually removed from the house that we remodeled, we used a jigsaw and cut out some shelves. So on the desktop, there was this really obvious marker stain. It did not come out when I sanded it, so I am determined to remove this marker. And here's the journey of that. So I tried rubbing alcohol with no success, and then I had a great idea that I would just paint over it using some craft paint and try to mix up some colors that match pretty close to the wood tone, but I immediately found that that was not going to work as the marker just bled right through it. Next, I made a mixture of toothpaste, baking soda, and lemon juice. I let that sit for a while and scrubbed it really hard. That did not work. Next, Barkeeper's Friend. Nope, didn't work. Mineral spirits was a no-go. Lastly, I tried nail polish remover, but with no success, we took the desk back outside and I tried sanding it some more and I was just determined to get that off. So unfortunately I did go through the veneer to the hardwood underneath, but oh well, I got the marker off. <laughs> So now it is time to paint and I'm going to be using Kills chalk paint in the color of blue juniper. I used a chalk paint brush and applied two coats of the paint. I love the look of the color of the desktop, but unfortunately with the issue of the marker stain and then sanding through the veneer, I just decided it would be best to just go ahead and stain the desktop dark so that it would not be very noticeable. I used a rag and wiped the stain on. And even though I really like the lighter color of the desktop, the dark stain does look pretty good. And it covers the marker stain really well. To seal the desktop, I'm going to be using Volurethane's Triple Thick Water-Based Polyurethane. And I applied three coats of this to the desktop for added protection. To seal the chalk paint, I'm going to be using this clear water-based wax. It is by Waverly Inspirations. I applied a coat of that and then I decided to distress it a little bit using this antique wax by Waverly Inspirations. It took me a little bit to get the right technique, but once I figured it out, I was quickly able to distress it using the antique wax. In hindsight, I can't say that I would distress it again using the antique wax, but uh, it's something that got in my head, so I decided to do it. Um, let me know down in a comment what you think, if you like it or not. I do think it turned out okay, but it wasn't necessarily the look I was going for. And then 
I came back in with some white wax and added just a little bit of lighter color to add a little bit more dimension and character. Now for the shelves, we are going to be making a door to cover the shelves and we used some pine wood boards, joined them together and then I filled in the cracks with some plastic wood filler. Then we used a router to router the edges so that they would have the similar detailing of the drawer fronts. Then I painted it and sealed it similar to the rest of the desk. And to add a little bit of details, I'm going to be using some little stencils uh, that I got these at Dollar Tree and I added some little lacy designs to the inside of the drawers and the cabinet doors. I also added some liner to the drawers. Uh, I got this drawer liner from Walmart. I had some leftover from another project that I had done. And I also got new hardware for the drawers, although it is similar to what was already on there. I just really didn't like the large knobs that were on the drawers. So I went ahead and bought these little wood knobs from Hope Depot and they were 98 cents a piece. I stained them the same color of the desktop and then sealed them and then put them on. So just a quick reminder of what this little desk used to look like, and here it is now. I really like how it turned out. It is quite the transformation from that ugly, sad little desk that it used to be. So let's talk numbers real quick. I figured I have about $25 total to redo this desk from purchasing it and the paint, sealer, the new hardware and hinges and all that jazz. So I have listed it on Facebook Marketplace for $125. So if I do sell it for that price, I will make a profit of a hundred bucks. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it has inspired you guys to take an ugly old piece of furniture and give it a new life. If you are not already a subscriber to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.